and you can see the smoke for yourself. It's pouring off of this fire here as it uh, as crews are trying to get the upper hand on it. We can show you the impact of all that smoke from Live Copter 3. This is video from our noon hour today, and this was flying over Lincoln. So this is as close as we could get to the fire, which is burning near Forest Hill but it was so smoky, that's as close as we could get. And you can see how hard it is to see through all of that smoke. Pretty thick layer there, like a blanket of it. Air quality in some spots has gotten a little bit better since then, but other places have not. Let's go back over to Heather Wallman with a look at the air quality. Hey there, Lacey. Yeah, the worst of the air quality today has been through the foothills. Here's the wide view to start through the Central Valley, and especially on the west side, things have been pretty good. Kind of in that moderate range, AQI around 50. Remember, the number to watch out for is an air quality index of 151 or higher. That's where we start to get into that unhealthy and even hazardous territory. This deep purple area that represents that very unhealthy to hazardous air quality. Grass Valley, Lake of the Pines, Georgetown, Auburn, all included within this region. And this is Interstate 80 right here. So you can see headed up the slope up towards Tahoe. That's where you're going to run into some issues as well. You come farther to the south, Cameron Park, Plymouth, West Point, Arnold and San Andreas, all in that unhealthy zone as well. That red area represents the start of that AQI of 151 plus. Once you come down the hill just a little bit, areas like Carmichael, even Midtown Sacramento, again, air quality has been doing okay for the last couple of hours, and we're actually starting to see a little bit of improvement there. There is good news as we go into the day on Saturday. We get more of an onshore flow, more of that delta breeze. That'll be coming for the west, so watch what happens here. A lot of this smoke starts to get pushed back up the hill. This is 10 p.m. this evening, so even starting to see some improvements later on tonight. You'll really notice a difference as we go into the day on Saturday, especially to the south of Highway 50. You go north of that, north of Placerville, up towards Auburn and areas to the east and north Grass Valley, up towards Colfax. That's where we still think this air is going to be at that unhealthy level. And South Lake Tahoe, the Tahoe Basin in general, should stay in that range as well. But for the valley and most of the foothills south of Highway 50, air quality gets much better this weekend. Back